Delafield's police chief learns while talking to the media that a suspect for the shooting of two officers has been captured. The arrest came late this morning after hours of searching. The manhunt closed down I-94 for hours and prompted warnings to people living in Delafield. Early today, an officer from Delafield and an officer from Heartland were shot and wounded near the Holiday Inn Express. The suspect was identified as Nathaniel Benton from Fargo, North, North Dakota, who's wanted there for another violent offense. We have team coverage tonight, including Winnie Dorch, who has details about Benton. But we begin with Mark Stevens live at the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department with dramatic details of how the search for Benton finally ended. Mark. Yeah, the Waukesha County Sheriff accredits dozens of law enforcement agencies as well as a neighbor's 911 call for capturing Benton. He had walked down to the bottom of our hill and and then uh, basically, um, you know, just got to the ground and all of a sudden he disappeared. Angela Phillips called 911 as soon as she recognized 23 year old Nathaniel Benton's clothes. Everything looked very similar, khaki pants, uh, a hooded uh, shirt. Police say Benton ran off after shooting two police officers outside a Delafield hotel before two this morning. Police say the officers were responding to a hit and run call and didn't know Benton was wanted for attempted murder. They were not aware of who this person was when they were making their initial contact. This cell phone video shows Benton being arrested without incident at the scene. The officers from Delafield and Heartland are recovering in the hospital. I've been in contact with my officer. He is still receiving treatment for non-life-threatening but serious injuries. The Waukesha County Sheriff credits dozens of law enforcement agencies for helping capture Benton. We had sufficient law enforcement to kind of lock the area down and, and even after the uh, roughly seven hours that we were there, uh, the individual didn't, didn't get too terribly far. And Phillips says she's resting much easier tonight. Much easier to sleep tonight. Police are still investigating tonight why Benton and two others were in Delafield. Now, the North Dakota court system says Benton had not been served with the warrant for that attempted murder charge. Reporting live in Waukesha, Mark Stevens, CBS 58 News.